Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rocky Velli uh, coming back at you with another video. Well, I am very, very excited because in this box is my first ever PSA order. I have never sent in to PSA before, but I uh, I recently signed up for the Collectors Club for the uh, and you get 15 free vouchers with the platinum. Uh, so I did that, and this is the return. Uh, this is all my um, my higher higher level ungraded cards that I've always wanted to get slabbed, but now I had since I had the opportunity to, I decided to go ahead and do it. So I'm very very excited about this, and uh, I have some um, I have some raw vintage stuff that uh, I'm a little nervous about because I, I, some of the stuff I got off of COMC and, uh, and eBay uh, so I'm worried about something being altered but uh, I, think, yeah, I think it has a pretty good chance of being okay I probably should have opened the box before starting the camera but it is what it is It was a trial and tribulation to uh, to actually get this in my possession because I couldn't sign for it yesterday because no one was home. So I knew I was going to have to go pick it up from the post office this morning. <laughs> but as it turned out, when I got home and looked at my email, I saw it as both delivered and signed for. Huh. Yeah, no one signed for it. <laughs> <laughs> so I find that really weird. As it turned out, my mail carrier signed for it with the intention of just putting it in the little parcel locker in my in the communal mailbox. Um, yeah, but you're not supposed to do that. First of all, <laughs> um, so. Um, And on top of that, they they forgot to put the key in my mailbox, so I couldn't get it out anyway. So I that was it was an interesting morning, but it's here. I'm ready to check out and see what and see what we got. Okay, first off, this is the '65 Sandy Koufax. It, I know it's not going to get a great grade. But it's a, it, this is this is a card. This is like a personal favorite because I think 65 Kofax, aside from the rookies, my favorite one because I just love the way this card looks. I just wanted it slab. I know this isn't going to be a good grade, but let's see what we got. A four, actually not too bad. Uh, this is kind of what I was expecting. You know, f like you know, three to five that that range. Because the corners are kind of have it on man, let me have it on manual focus. Let me. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but it, but it is the corners are pretty dinged up on it. Yeah, it, it, it's the edges and corners are kind of rough on it. I knew this wasn't going to get a great grade. I just love. Uh, this is a COMC buy. I, I just love the centering on it, though. If it wasn't for the, the corners being jacked up, this would be awesome. But I think it just looks great. It's like Sandy. I mean, this is that picture of Sandy Koufax. I mean, if you're a hitter back in 1965 and you were looking out at that, you you had some you had some issues <laughs> that were about to happen to you. I mean, look at this. Let's see. ERA. Like 174 in 1963. And then like this year he uh he set the uh he ended up setting the all-time record. Focus. Jeez. He ended up striking out 382, 382 or 383 batters this year. So he made he made a little bit of history this year. I just love this card. 
All right, a four, I'll take it. All right, now we're getting into some modern stuff. Um, decided to get a lot of the, the autographs that I pulled from last year. Uh, last year's slab. Aaron Judge, Gem Mint 10. Bowman's Best, a green refractor. It's out of uh, 99. Awesome, man. Like all of these modern ones, uh, uh, it's 10 or bust. But yeah, I'm really, really pumped about this one. That is so cool. And it, I, initially I was playing, I'd like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the judges slabbed and then sell them. But uh, he's still playing well. Uh, he might be the real deal. All right, here's the top's finest Aaron Judge. Jim Mint 10. It's the blue, uh, this is the blue refractor. Out of 150. Nice. So far, so good. More Aaron Judge. I think this is the cream of the crop of the judges right here. I think that, no, actually, uh, I think this one is. Value-wise, like book value. Uh, here's the out of 25 orange refractor. Aaron Judge, top's finest. Jim Mint 10. <clears throat> all these judges I uh, were, all, were all pulled from uh, group box breaks. Like where I happen, where if it was a draft, like and I happen to get first in the, in the draft, you, everyone picked the Yankees first. <laughs> and I did, and that's where I got these from. So, there's Ronald Acuna. Jim Mint 10. Awesome. Bowman's best. I mean, let me focus a little bit here. There we go. Excellent. So far, so good. Also got this from a group break. All right, now we're getting into some older stuff. Mike Piazza 1992 Fleer Update. This is a COMC by, let's see. Come on, 10. Come on. Oh, a nine. Still. I knew this one, like, this was iffy. Let me show you why. When I first got the car, see that print dot right here over, over, over the doubles symbol, 2B? See that print dot? That's what I was thinking could have held it back from a 10. I think that might be what happened because the edges and corners are really, really nice on this card. But my, my feeling was that that print dot on the back, because it's so prominent, would hold it back. But still, I'm just looking at it from the front. This is definitely a great car for the PC, man. This is my favorite Piazza rookie. It's a pretty good result. I'm really not too disappointed in that at all. All right. So no, this, is, this is a 1970 Nolan Ryan. Six. Focus. There you go. Six. Okay. I thought this had a shot of being a little bit better. Let me see if I can kind of, because the centering's not too bad on this card. I mean, the corner here is just a little bit dinged up, not too bad. The centering's okay on it. Mm. Still, I mean, six for a, for a car from this era is not bad at all. I'm not complaining at all. But I thought I thought I felt this might have had a chance at being a seven, but six I am very happy with. It's it's my goal, by the way, to have every Nolan Ryan card ever made, like base uh, base Nolan Ryan cards. 
everyone ever made. I have, I have the 69, 70, don't have 71, you know, et cetera. But I have a bunch of the Nolan Ryan cards. All right, here's the Ripken. By the way, my, I'm gonna, once I get to the card, I'll, I'm gonna tell you, the, the card I was most worried about, um, I was worried that it might be altered. Uh, this isn't the one, but I will tell you when we get to it. But it's in a slab, which is a great sign. All right, here's the 82 tops traded Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card. Eight. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of roughly where I was thinking it could be. I mean, there's just a little chipping on the edge on the bottom here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Focus. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's kind of roughly where I thought this car could go. About an eight. But still, I mean, not too bad. So I've yet to be completely disappointed by any of the grades yet. I was really hoping that Piazza was a 10, but it wasn't to be. But I, I felt it, it was a really good chance it was going to be a 9. Here is the uh, Roger Clemens 84 FLIR update. All right. Are you kidding me? I, I, I am just, oh my God. <laughs> wow, I, I mean, I, I'm speechless. I'm so like I'm so happy that I've de I decided to start a YouTube channel and start sharing my uh, sharing my card pulls with you guys. I'm so happy and just I'm I'm so so happy to be able to share this with you guys. I've had like there's been like a few moments in like my card collecting career that that have uh, just been incredible like great pulls out of packs and stuff from back in the day. I think this tops them all. How can it not? You know, a, a pre junk wax era card, like a, like a key rookie card. From the like from pre junk wax, that you get a gem mint ten on, and this is a this is a tough set. Fleer update like I mean these Fleer cards, you know they're they're always the like, you know the centering's always a little jinky on them. I I, I can't believe it. Like out of it, like there's not even a question in my mind that you know there'd be something a little off on it. I, a 10 was never, never even entered into my mind as being in the realm of possibility. <sighs> Dude. Dude. There will be celebrations tonight. Oh, yes. There will be celebration. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how we can top that, but... It must continue. <laughs> okay, here's the Kirby Pucket from the same set. N nine. Yeah. I was thinking, of like, you know, I was trying to think like a PSA grader and get an honest assessment of where I thought the cars would be before I sent them in. I was like, 
maybe a you know maybe a eight because the edges and corners are nice. It's just a little off center, which is probably why this is not a ten. Yeah, dude, excellent FLIR update. You are now my favorite all-time card set. All right, Bryce Harper. This is the uh, 2012, uh, 2012 Tops update. A nine. Ah. I was thinking this had a shot at a 10. I was thinking this had a shot at a 10. Let's try to identify where it could have been. Maybe there's like a little micro touch on the on the corner or something that I didn't see. I would have sent it in anyway, <laughs> even if I did see it. Um, probably not something I'll be able to, to see right now leaning around my tripod and nothing that the camera will be able to pick up. But probably like a little something when they brought out the jeweler's loop, there's probably a little ding on it. Still, I mean, this is a, this is a PC card anyway, so I'm I'm happy with a nine. Okay, here's the uh, 2011 Altuve, the uh, Tops Update Altuve. Yes, a ten. Even though I'm a huge Rangers fan, I just love this guy. My two favorite players are Jose Altuve and Mike Trout, and they both play for my Rangers division rivals. <sighs> awesome. This is Gen Mint 10. This was, a, this was a buy raw off of COMC, of ComC, and uh, turned out well for me. Jim Mint 10. All right, here's the uh, here's the Ichiro from uh, 2000 Tops update. Tops Chrome update. Tops Chrome traded Jim Mint 10. Yet another one of my all-time favorite players who was a Mariner. Griffey was another one of my all-time favorite players. He was a Mariner. There's something about all my all our rival teams in the AL West that have all my favorite all-time players. Awesome. Jim Mint 10 Suzuki rookie card. Love Ichiro. He was such a classic. Awesome. And here's the 80, 80 tops, Ricky Henderson rookie. Eight. I like it. This is pretty much where I thought it could be. I knew this wasn't going to be like a nine or a ten because of, I don't know if y'all can see that. Right, see right here? Sometimes on these, the, uh, on these older cars, it's like a little, like a little oil, a little oil dot. And my theory on that is, you know, back in the day, during the 70s and 80s, like the, my theory is the machinery they used to, uh, you know, to cut the cards and sort them and stuff. Maybe, you know, it's a machinery, you have to oil it. That's what I'm thinking, it could, like some oil might have splashed on some of the cards. Cause I see that on a lot of the older cards. But I will def I'm definitely happy with an eight on this card. You know, the corners and edges are good. Outstanding. Well, I just realized something and I'm gonna, even though this is a little embarrassing, I'm gonna share it with you guys. I just noticed that I did not see one card that I was particularly interested in.
Yep. Trimmed. The way I see it though. Uh, yeah, I, I spent, I uh, got this off of eBay. This is the 1964 Pete Rose. I took a chance on it. I got it for a decent price. I took a chance on it and I did, I got burned. It is, this is trimmed. Mm. Let me, let me show you guys the card. This is very disappointing. However, the way I see it is, I mean, I was, I was definitely, you know, I, I knew I was taking a risk buying this raw off of eBay. I got it for a great price. But probably the reason I got it for a great price is because it was freaking trimmed. But um, yeah, I consider this an overwhelming success overall. Uh, because I got great grades on all in these cars. The the '84 Fleer update, Roger Clemens being a gem mint ten, makes up for this ten times over. I, I'm over the moon. I cannot believe that happened, and, and I'm so happy to be able to share it with you guys. Well. Uh, that's 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 all the order, but um, I have a bulk order, a 68 card bulk order, that's in California right now being graded, um, and that should be uh, that should be done by next month, maybe month, month and a half, and I'll definitely have a video on that for you. So um, so stay tuned for that. I also have a uh, the May baseball card crate, the May baseball crate that it says it's being delivered today. So I'm gonna go check the mailbox, uh, cook a steak, check the mailbox, and I might have another video for you guys here shortly. And I'm glad to get this out of circulation. It was my, not my bad that I even bought this in the first place. It's out of circulation at least. So there's that. <laughs> But let me, uh, let me end it by bringing the, the star of the show back up to the front. Oh man, I, I, I'm just so pumped about this. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. This is a very successful first, uh, first order from PSA. Uh, you guys uh, stay tuned for that baseball car crate video I have coming, I'm gonna have coming out later today. And I'll, you guys take care. I'll see you later. All right, thanks. Bye.